Hey, little sloths. Yay! It is 2019. You guys, 2018 was cray cray. It was one of the hardest years of my life. So thank you for sticking with me in all of my troubles because it just got better. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. I'm back home. Shooby doo. I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shooby doo. I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy because we're eating. No, no, not noodles, pizza. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that's obnoxious. Hi. Okay, so today I'm doing Pizza Hut. Obviously, this is a big dinner box, and it's upside down for you. So let me turn around so it's right side for you. Wow. Big dinner box. This is from Pizza Hut. It cost me $30 because I, I made it extra special. So what I have is the barbecue sauce, the sweet barbecue marinara sauce, and the other one is a cheesy alf parmesan. John Alfredo sauce, both of which are pepperoni, and I got the pasta because I love the Alfredo pasta and breadsticks. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, and this one has extra cheese, and you can tell. It, oh, and I got cheesy breadsticks too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one looks. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I can't let. <laughs> It's like bigger than my face. Hold on. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. And I, I can't even, there's no room for my face. Okay. So I also got garlic dipping sauce for 50 cents more. It came with marinara, which she dropped on the floor, but she gave me a new one, which was nice. Ranch. And what is this? For the breadsticks, this is like a chocolate sauce, I think. We'll have to find out. Grab some food. It is time to feast together. Yes. Happy New Year. I'm so excited. Here we go. And here we go, little sloths. I'm so excited. Yes. And it's cheesy too. So I'm going to first, before we even like get with the chat, it's an eating show. This one looks like the alpha. Well, I don't know. Well, let's find out. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> People are like, calm down. No, listen. Mmm. This is not regular pizza. This is sweet barbecue sauce as the marinara. You probably can't tell. Mmm, mmm. Happy New Year. Ooh. Rattle, 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 rattle. Pinky's up because I'm proper. Everyone said, Nick, when you did your roast, which by the way, I'm thinking about doing tea time with a Nikocado avocado because I have some more stuff I want to talk about with other people and maybe I should. But someone said, make sure your pinky's up while you're doing it. Better? All right. Look, my face depuffed. Ooh. When I did my collaborations at Be Loves Life House, I am allergic to sulfur. That seafood is preserved with sulfur. Not her fault. I mean, I already know. I don't care. But man, my double chin was popping for those videos. My arms were all like jiggly and whatever. But you know when you like take a photo for someone's like wedding? And you know, it's not even supposed to be about yourself, about self. It's supposed to be about their wedding, right? But you can't help to hate how you look. Mm. I did not look good. This is good though. Mmm. This has Alfredo sauce instead of marinara sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm dying to know what this is. Let's find out. Let's get a cheesy breadstick. If I can do it without it. Fall. Oh, look at all that cheese. It's all solidified, but that's okay. Breadsticks taste best this way. Oh, it's a barbecue sauce for the breadsticks. Mmm, 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 mmm. Good thing I got this, because I. Mm. It tastes good on the pizza, but not with the bread. Eh, I mean, it's okay. That's a very nice barbecue sauce, though. <laughs> I'm not this. Get all my crumbs. Beep, 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 beep. So I ordered a garlic. This is only 50 cents more. Garlic dipping sauce. It helps you get through all the crust. Because we are going to eat all this, right? Mm. Look at me. Complain about my weight as I eat 5,000 calories. Listen, my water weight affects me more than anything else. It's not fat. It's just water weight. 
but I was so swollen during my trip. So I'm back home. Happy New Year. You're gonna see this like a day after I put, maybe two days after I publish this, because I'm a little behind on my, on my videos for my collaborations. Ah, anyways, Happy New Year. Yeah, I, I, I got home. Let me tell you, I it took 13 hours to get home. 13 hours from Ohio to Pennsylvania. I could have driven, drove, uh, driven, and I would have been here by, by, you know, way more than 13 hours. Mmm. See, so it helps you get through the crust. That was good. Let's do this one too. Ranch. Am I the only one that does that? I lick my tops. So, yeah, I slept for 13 hours. 13 hours, can you believe it? Mmm. Mmm. Let's try this one. I always recommend everybody to get this. <clears throat> So good. So good. This is the cheesy Alfredo pasta. Oh. <laughs> cheesy chicken. Mm, is there chicken? Yes, there is. Protein. Oh my god, that is so good. This is uh, this is like better than the pizza sometimes. Speaking of which, remember last time I did Pizza Hut? Those boneless wings were good. The garlic nuts were good. But that pizza, I finished the whole thing because I wanted to. Every last piece, you guys saw that video. Boom, there it is. I did a 3,000 calorie challenge. I ate every single drop. Because I challenged myself and I was really hungry that day. <laughs> Plus, I had some gossip and stuff to talk. I don't. I'm always talking about something. But as you guys know in the video, I was like, "What's up with this pizza? It tastes like cardboard. Hard, nasty, stiff. Like cafeteria, cafeteria school cardboard car, cardboard box pizza. Oh, it was it was bad. But if you get the pan pizza, it's fluffy. It's so good. Mmm." Alfredo sauce on my pizza. Mmm. 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 But yeah, Happy New Year, and I'm happy to be home. Yes. <laughs> I have to film another tea time video. Looking at my calendar. It is January. Oh. And I know it says December. I, don't, other, I've X, I X off my calendar. Do, 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 do. You know, look at me conducting in the air. Yeah. That's how I know it's January because everything's been X'd out in my December one. I have to get a new calendar. <sighs> 13 hours to get home though. So this is what happened. So when I finished my collab with Steph Papas, that was in the middle of Ohio. I had to go to one of the ends where my flight left from. I had a rental car. My flight was at 6 a.m. Or no, 7. 7 something. 7.35. Yeah. I like to be there at least two hours early. Thank God, because I almost missed it. Oh, well. So, I left my hotel at 3 a.m. Took two hours to get to the car rental place. Drop off the car. I hate driving at night, you guys. I hate driving at night. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The barbecue sauce. I don't like driving in general. I'm a, I'm not a bad driver. I'm just very a little nervous. The radio's off. The phone is off. Unless it has the GPS, which it always does. I'm loving my new phone, which is over here. My first cell phone in like four years. iPhone. Ooh. It feels so cool to be able to text and not be with Wi-Fi. <laughs> I forgot what that was like. <laughs> or like look something up on Google. 
Boom. Now, I, it's a family plan. My parents put me on their plan. I'm going to pay for my line. 15 a month, that's it. My line costs them $15 more a month, so I'll just pay out to them. But it is shared, so I can't use all the data. Because you know, if I did my own plan, it would be like over $100. Versus 15, I'm like, well, yeah. And Orlin has a phone. And he's doing, um... Cricket? No, what's that Walmart one? Oh, no, it's something. It's not T-Mobile, but it's kind of like T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Whatever, this is besides this point. I hate driving at night. I'm concentrating. Hate it, hate it, hate it. There's no one on the road. I was like the only one. There's like trucks, lots of trucks. Ooh, they, they, make, they make me scared. I don't like driving by trucks. I don't know about you. And especially if it's really dark, everyone has their high beams on, so I'm driving and and my mirrors, which is blinding me, I'm like, ah. <laughs> That's what I do. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Seriously. Hate driving. So I left the hotel around 3.30, got there at 5.30 at the car rental place, filled up with gas, so I, I didn't charge me for that. I had to pay for my own, which is cheaper. Returned it, and I missed, I, no, I didn't, I almost missed the shuttle to the airport by like 30 seconds. I'm not like running over, ha ha because it runs every like 15 minutes from the airport <gasps> to the car rental place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get to the airport. Ah. Wow, the airport. Christmas trees, garlands, Christmas music. Oh, the weather outside. Ah, da. Mm. And everyone's wearing more their fur coats. I just no snow. Let it snow. You know, speaking of that song, there's no snow. I haven't seen snow this whole year. I do not like this climate change. It's making me very upset. Whether it's natural or unnatural, don't care. I, I miss snow. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. The airport was very cheerful with the, the music and the decorations. And to use the free Wi-Fi, you have to do a survey to tell the airport what you like or don't like about the experience. Any, meeny, money, mouth. Let's do this. So I said, loving the holidays. Even though Christmas has been over, but most places keep their stuff up till January. I left on December 31st. December, yeah. The last day is December. Mmm. <laughs> I check in. They had no sign to go to the um, the self kiosk. American Airlines, you know, I didn't check any bags. I had a carry on. Mm. American Airlines, at least you still get to bring a, a checked bag on your on your national domestic flights. My parents and I went to Hawaii. So 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 long. I was the end of the East Coast. We were not allowed to bring a carry on. We had to pay for it. We could not watch movies on the TV. A four-hour flight. Had to pay for it. My parents were furious. Well, they were upset a lot during that trip, but that part I agree with. Yeah, I was kind of upset by that, too. So that's... I like American Airlines more than United just for that. Yeah. Hmm, sorry. Mmm. And you guys know how much I hate flying. I'm finally at a point where I've had to do it so much that... I'm not as scared. I keep envisioning going up and down and gliding smoothly down. I don't know. I'm less scared. It's a mental thing. Phobias are a mental thing. As you guys know, or maybe don't if you're new. Hi. Ooh. I used to cry. Like, tremble and literally start crying. Tears running down my face. Boarding the airplane because I thought I was about to die. It was really bad. And in general, I don't get bad turbulence on my flights. So I'm kind of blessed with that. No bad turbulence, because then it would change the whole thing, right? If you're like this on your airplane, you're not going to want to do it again, no. So anyways, um, the security line. Wow, so long. It took forever. That's what I'm saying. It almost missed, missed my flight by 15 minutes. Did not expect it. And they had dogs sniffing everyone's things. And you want to pet them so bad, and they have a sign on that says, Don't pet the dog. <laughs> 
Oh, all yeah, see, make sure you pay for sauce. It makes it even more fun. Funner, is that a word? I know stupider it is. You know, what was that saying in school? Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. And people always thought it was like, ironic because stupider is not a word. I mean, if you're the one saying that slogan, you're stupid. But no, stupider is a word. Technically, in the English dictionary, yes, this is proper. Those of you that had to learn English as your second language, I am so sorry. It's very hard. I'm lucky I didn't have to. It just came to me. <laughs> I'm so bad at learning. Oh my gosh. I can't even learn Spanish. That's the easiest thing in the world. Uh, ice cold water. You guys jealous? Mmm. This is really good. <laughs> oh, stop it. You, yeah, this is really good. Mm. So, that was kind of... You know, wow, I almost missed my flight. Never missed a flight before, though, so I'm happy about that. I was so tired, though, falling asleep on that airplane. So th maybe that's why I was less nervous. I was so sleep deprived. Oh, my collaboration with Steph. So good. When I do collaborations, it's like the best, one of the best things about what I do. Because, again, you guys get to see your favorite YouTubers together. Or maybe we're not your favorite, but you still watch us and whatever. It makes it interesting, right? It's something new. But for me, the off-camera, I said this talking about Be Love's Life. The stuff Papa's. That's what I'm talking about, obviously. But I didn't say her full name, so go watch her video. We did a collaboration. <coughs> That off-camera experience is great. Now, luckily, I haven't met anyone for off-camera. They're, like, really, like, not nice. And I'm like, mm, how was your day? They're, they're pulling on their phone. I was fine. Yeah. You know, I haven't met anyone like that. <laughs> God. Yeah, there would be lots of tea time videos for that. But luckily, everyone's been very good off-camera. You know, face-to-face -face with me. Hmm. Mmm. Playing the piano. Mmm. Great time with that. Anyway, so let's keep going on with the story. I have a layover in Philadelphia. It was too hot, number one. I was exhausted. My eyes were so tired. They were. I was like, close my eyes as I'm walking. I still had to edit. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I was so hot in there. They had the heat blasting. And I was sweating. I, I only had a t-shirt on. See, this is why I love wearing shorts. Number one, I don't get hot that, e uh, that cold that easily. I prefer the cold over the warm. Because I eat so many darn calories. Mmm. <laughs> But number two, unless you're playing outside, I could wear shorts year round and the cars have heaters, the buildings have heaters, the airports have heaters, your house has heaters, hopefully. You know what I mean? It's not like in the olden days where you only had a fireplace in one room of the house of the stone cottage in Rhode Island and you're freezing unless you're by the fireplace. So you have to, you have to layer it up in bed. No, see, I don't live in that day and age, thank God. But so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I recommend this barbecue sauce. Wow. I think I like it more than the Alfredo, to be honest. It's just so different. They also have buffalo sauce. But... Maybe I would like that, actually. I was going to say, it might get old real fast, because it's very strong. But that's very strong, and I, I still love it. Mm. I don't know. I'll try that next time. Spicy pizza. Anyways, and then the Wi-Fi kept going on and off. Now, yes, I have my phone. Ooh. But for my computer, because I was editing. I'm doing stuff, um, entering tags and... 
going back and forth with Steph because she published her video while I happened to be at the airport. And we planned it so that I could comment and she could pin it, yada yada. Well, I'm waiting for my flight and there's a two hour delay. Two hours goes by, then there's another 30 minute delay, and then there's another delay, and then they cancel it. So I'd been in the airport for maybe five or six hours by now, they canceled it. <laughs> the next one is in, is in another hour, but that's also delayed. Oh, this is not, see, this is why traveling is not as glamorous as it used to be. And so, once they make that announcement, they're like, well, go to the customer service desk and reschedule your flight. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is really good, too, though. Mmm. <laughs> this table, my foot's getting caught. Oh, that was good. Shout out to, um, someone Chow. He's Korean. He does ASMR videos. He has a black background. He's been commenting my videos all the time. I finally checked it out. I'm like, who's this? I want to say Patrick Chow, <clears throat> but that was one of my friends growing up. Patrick Chow. So, do they have the same name? Or, see, sometimes you, you blur your memories, right? But Patrick Chow. Well, he looks Korean. I think he's Korean. Anyways, hi, I see you commenting all the time. Thanks for the support. So we go to the um, customer, everyone, if you know who I'm talking about, just tell, just tell him I said hi. Okay, so you go to the customer service place. So I was, you know, we were waiting at our gate. They make the announcement, all the groans, all the huffing and puffing. And I kind of like skedaddle over there because I'm real fast and I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep. So I'm like running and I'm like the third or fourth in line. The lady in front of me who had also ran is on the phone and she is not happy <clears throat> talking to someone who's supposed to pick her up at our final destination. You know, six, seven hours later and there, she's like, I could have rented a car. I would have been home by now. This is ridiculous. Blah, 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 blah. Well. Mmm. 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 So it was her, her turn to go to the customer service desk. It was lots of cursing, so I won't repeat it, but this is ridiculous. I demand you, I want a full, she was smacking the table. I want a full refund. I want payment for my emotional distress. I want you to pay for my rental car, pay for my hotel. You buy my rental car to get where I need to go, and I'm never flying here again. And the ladies are like, well, we're not just going to hand you cash. They were so, you know, I felt really bad for them, even though I, under even though I was angry and tired. It's not their fault, and in this day and age, they don't just hand out hotel vouchers and car vouchers on the spot. Back in the day when my parents were younger, they did do stuff like that. If your flight had an issue, they did put up you in a hotel. They did pay you for, for your presentation. They gave you, you know, some food, even a, a food voucher. But there are very few. There are a lot fewer people on Earth back then on this planet. And there was also a lot fewer people who could afford to fly. It was very luxurious, luxurious things because only the rich could do it and you did it. And if you did do it and you weren't rich, you know, my parents aren't rich, you know, they did it. My parents went on like two airplanes their whole life until recently. You know, you don't do it that often. So, the airlines could take care of the people because there's a lot less of them. It's not that way anymore. And the person who was yelling, Maybe t five, ten years older than me. She wasn't old. She actually looked late twenties, early thirties. I'm twenty six, so you know she just she. It's it's one thing if you're like seventy and you remember the days where everyone was treated first class, even if you weren't first class. And that's a hard thing to deal with now. It's like oh, times are changing, wah. But when you're young, like you didn't really experience that yourself. I mean. <laughs> Maybe she had, she was riding first class on that plane. I don't know. But still, just because you're first class doesn't mean you need to be mean about it. She was being mean to them. Because she kept saying, are you paying attention? Do you hear what I'm saying? Lots of curse words. You're not even paying attention. Beep, 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 beep. And I felt bad for the workers because I looked at their, their eyes and they're like... <sighs> I 
You guys know my JetBlue flight got canceled a long time ago. That was around the time I got deported, yeah. And um, it took five months to get my refund and into my bank account. It's just, it has to go through all these steps now and it's not automatic. I know it sucks, but that's how it is. And, um, what can I say? That's just, that's just the nature of traveling. It sucks sometimes. Also there, I also thought to myself too, would you prefer to go? Cause the reason they canceled the airplane, cause the actual airplane had a maintenance issue. Something wasn't working. Now, I don't know about you, but if the plane I'm about to step onto has buttons that do not work, I do not wish to use it. <laughs> 32,000 feet in the air and you and there's buttons that don't work. No, thank you. My life matters a lot more than these extra couple hours. I don't know about you. I know it sucks if you have plans, but that's why you always have to if you're doing something for business or even pleasure, don't plan something two hours after you're supposed to arrive from the airport. Give yourself a whole day for, for these types of things. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to expect that everything's going to be on time on the second. With Because there's a lot of this is not in your control. It's not even in their control. If there's a blizzard, that's not the airline's fault. If all the flights are canceled because of the blizzard, they're not just going to pay for everyone's flights again. Because it's no, it's Mother Earth. You know, there's some things that are not in our control. Just like this, um, the, the temperature is changing. The, the earth will do what it's going to do. So, anyways. Mmm. It was very mean. And I thought to myself, I was like, would you rather go on that airplane that wasn't going to work? I want them. Someone who has a fear of flying... I want them to look at everything before I get onto it, please. Okay. And I say that too about TSA. Yes, it took a long time to get through security, but I would rather wait two extra hours. Well, that's a long time. One extra hour <laughs> to make sure that there, no one's bringing a bomb on my plane or a knife or a razor blade that's really sharp or, you know. Someone that studies plane crash histories religiously because I'm that... OCD and scared, yet I want to learn everything I can about it, because sometimes knowledge is power and it helps you, you know, once you learn about the turbulence and what it does and what it ca what causes it and what's happened because of it, it makes you try to fear it less, because we always fear what we don't know, so we imagine the worst. So, if you look at the history of a aviation, plane crash histories, there's a Wikipedia page, there's a plane info, planecrashinfo.com, <clears throat> or dot org. When, so it goes like this. Here's the here's the um, the graph. So the airplanes invented. Bing. Some people use it. Bing bing. And then it becomes commercial. Bing 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 bing. And now it's just exponential. Well, the number of of crashes go like this, really high. And then the fifties, sixties, seventies, and 1980s, eighties. Ooh. High, 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 high. Ever since the 1980s, it has been on a steady, steady decrease in airplane crashes and hijackings and terrorist attacks and malfunctions that send people flying into the ocean. <gasps> a steady decrease. De and, and while it's decreasing, the number of flights in the air at a given time is increasing. So it's becoming almost like you're more likely to get hit by lightning, which is a very unlucky, rare thing than to die on an airplane because of all these annoying rules. Because the button to like make one little thing doesn't work, they shut the whole airplane down because they want, it's important if you're paying all this money, I mean, airplane flights are expensive. Hundreds of dollars, even if you're rich, listen, a hundred, well, not a hundred dollars, but go from one end to the other, west coast to east coast. This isn't pocket change unless you're Bill Gates. You know, it's, you know, 700 bucks is still a lot of money for anybody. You want to get your money's worth. That's what I'm saying. If you don't want to die. <laughs> mm. Very good. Mm. Mm. So...
So that's how I look at it, you guys. She was very upset. It sucks, but <clears throat> I'm glad that they caught the mistake, that's all. Anyways, let's talk about something else now. <laughs> let's talk about 2018. <sighs> Thank you so much for not giving up on me. Out of all of my years alive, I think 2018 had to have been, you know why? Because I've always had ups and downs in my life, but it was never ca captured on camera. It was never for a million people to be aware of. <laughs> so when I have my problems, it becomes everyone's problems. Not really, but kind of. If you're thinking about me and, and my deportation, it's your problem now. Because I'm renting precious brain sp space. You know, what's, how much does it cost for me to rent out a piece of your brain to, for you to think of me that often? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much for not giving up on me. I hate when the ice cubes come crashing down like an av avalanche. You go like this. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyways, thank I really appreciate you guys not doing that. And I, it was so funny, I was talking to Susan. She's one of my subscribers, but we're friends now. And uh, I was talking to her, I was like, you know, it's so funny because back in October, November, well, it was before November, back in like, October, I said, we are gonna go out with a bang. <gasps> Excuse me, we're gonna go out with a bang. <gasps> Excuse me, mm. 2018, coming out with a bang. I think I still like Liz more, by the way. The, the Alfredo sauce, and the barbecue's good, but I think that Alfredo one is better. And you know what happened? I went out with a bang. I did not know it would go like this. That's still good though. It was multiple things at once. Number one, I got a new YouTube channel. You're on it, yay! Nikocado Avocado 2 in the house. And that came out of um, my main channel having a lot of issues with lots of different things and whatever. I decided, well, I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to do something else. Same with Noodle King. That was kind of going to be my second channel, but it's connected to that same account. It's just not fair, but you know what? Life's not fair. That's what I've learned out of this whole experience. Life isn't fair. Are you going to sit and pout and curse at everyone and just make... You're not going to change the outcome by being upset. You just have to do something else to make yourself happy. So making this channel, well, it was Orland's channel given to me, I feel so much better. Yay, I love this channel. Yay. <laughs> I feel so thankful to have a second channel that works. <clears throat> that isn't on the blacklist. Now, let's also talk about, uh, so yes, made a new channel. Ooh. I'm home for the holidays. Ooh, didn't know that was gonna happen. Came home to my family's house. Now again, I'm not like super close with everyone. They didn't even celebrate Christmas. I didn't even get any presents or anything. I didn't give any presents either, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's very low key over here. And um, yeah, so that was really fun. I really wanted to see snow, but other than that, I got a Christmas tree. I decorated my room. <gasps> and I was just in a really joy uh, joyful, jolly spirit this Christmas. So that's number two. Number three. I got involved in some drama, which, um, <laughs> I actually, I love and hate drama at the same time, but I, I hate drama when it's about myself. Well, it was about myself when they started curse, calling me a liar and stuff and whatever. But, um, we all, we all say we don't like it, but we all gravitate toward it because that's just how humans work, okay? It was so funny. My mom and I were sitting down talking about, um, one of her friends' church is having a lot of drama in the church. The minister did this, the music minister did that, this person got kicked out, well they have a new director of the children's service, well they did like this person, they did that, but, 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 the uh, pa uh, play on power, lots of power, power, power playing. Just lots of nasty stuff and people be quitting the church and leaving the church and be uh, lots of drama in a church. And I was like, mom, that sounds so crazy. She's like, Nick, most people, she's, they, she's like, think about whole, holy, her holy trinity down the street or something. I'm just making up a name. One of the Catholic churches. She's like, I can't tell you, my friends from work, how much drama they have had in their church. This person did this in the congregation. This one didn't show up to the board meeting. This one said this. The pastor's favoriting. This person, their finances are all co conspiracy because it's not going here. There's corruption with that. And just think about all the priests that are getting caught for touching young children. It's like... 
even in the, the, the holiest of places, humans gravitate towards drama, okay? So I've come to just accept it because that's how we're, how, how I am. I don't know about you, but that's how I am. No, not saying that I gravitate towards um doing bad things in the church. No, meaning that mischief occupies our minds. We like to think about it and we like to talk about it, even if it's not about us. That's kind of how we're wired. That's why tea channels and drama channels on YouTube are so much fun to watch because it doesn't even involve you, but it's fun to just watch someone else like get dragged, someone get put in their place. The person who's doing all the dragging eventually gets dragged by someone else one day and you're like, ha ha ha, seeking revenge. Ha ha, put you in your place. It's like this big old battle, okay? It's kind of entertaining to watch from afar because you're not emotionally invested because it doesn't actually concern you, really. But it's really fun. So um, that happened. That's another thing to add to the list. Number three, I got involved with some drama and, you know, it was kind of fun. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was so long to edit those videos. But other than that, like, it's kind of fun to just put yourself out there and put your nose where it doesn't belong. And, you know, oh, gosh, whatever. I really did it just for the Shook Bang guy. But after that, and the channel got resolved and then they keep saying stuff about me, and then it's like, okay, the boxing gloves are on, you know, like, okay, you know, because it's all very lighthearted. It's not like they're awful murderers, or I'm like this awful, it's not like we're bad people at the end of the day. It's just, we had some issues, and it, it took place on YouTube, and it's entertaining for everyone, I guess, I guess, I don't know. So there's that. You know, I'm just being real. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you but, and say, I don't like drama. That's not true. And I don't think most people can say that. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you about that. Okay. I'm very, I'm very truthful. I'm not going to sit here and say like, um, I regret not doing it. No, I'm happy I did it. Shook Bang got his channel back. If it weren't for me, the channel would be gone still. I guarantee. I guarantee. Without me, no one would have known about it. A few people know, knew about it, but not to this extent where the biggest YouTuber on YouTube, PewDiePie, was spreading awareness. I was the whistleblower. Okay. I do not regret any of it. All right. This, this poor guy, I mean, ugh. And also for me too, like, I love to be like, snippy, snippy, snap. <laughs> so anyways, that's number three. Number four, what else happened that was great? My collaborations. I got two collaborations back to back. No, a bunch with my ex-girlfriend. That happened twice, my ex-boyfriend. I got to reconnect with her. That was a fun video. I um, got to see B Loves Live. I got to see Steph Papas. I got to collaborate with both of them. That was so much fun as well. And I love collaborations. We get to talk about all the stuff we can't talk about on camera. Like the algorithm. Like how much we're making. And the amount of vast differences there is. It's always shocking and, and interesting. And, you know, I just I had a great end of my year. New Year's was fun. And now I'm going to Florida. I should say the state now. I need to put out that video ASAP, revealing what state we're moving to. <laughs> God, I keep talking about it. Uh, to Florida to start my life with Orlin and Miss Kitty and all my, just, I'm so excited. Anyone catch that? I'm going to get into that later. Don't you worry. Some people caught that. Mm, I'm really full. Ooh. The only thing I would have loved to do to add to that list, I really should have just gone to New York. I always talk about it. I always think about it. I should have gone to New York and since seen Nadia, my friend I've talked to for so long. See the tree, go ice skating with Orlin, go to a Broadway show, <clears throat> a few of them. <laughs> Drag him along. I think he would like it if he actually sat down and watched them. But until you see a Broadway show, it just sounds so obnoxious, right? All the singing and the dancing and the acting and the, and the lights and the drama. It's just too much, especially for a lot of men in this world. They're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I talk about Raleigh shows to Orlin, like, ha, 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 ha. Like, the, like, it's just like, everyone, and he's like, calm down, Nick. They're singing songs and dancing in a circle on a stage. Calm down. You know, like, but then if he'll see it, I think he would really enjoy it. You just have to, he's never been to a Broadway show, you know what I mean? And I've been to, oh, God, I can't even think of how many. I used to, I used to be in them, in the, in the orchestra. So, 
that's all that is a regret of mine i wish i did that i mean i still could but i i think i'm gonna leave in like a week or so to go to florida i'm looking at one-way flights from here to there very affordable sixty dollars seventy dollars okay all right so i'm gonna get a good deal and do that i am full did i do enough talking i don't even know let's just talk about more, my year more. So those are all the great things that made it. I really did go out with a bang, didn't I? Oh, I really went out with a bang. So I'm really happy about that. Yay. And a few things in my life happened off camera that I'm not going to go into. See, Susan knows. You know, I had lots of little special things that were surprises that just made it. It all happened this month. Ooh, you know, really happy. Lots of little things. So, yeah. It's been a, it, I'm focusing on the good clearly because I had a lot, a lot of meltdowns this year. But I think I've gone through things that most people don't go, go through, you know, it's just, I mean, yeah, everyone goes through a breakup and yeah, everyone, I mean, it's like, but it was just all of it together. It was just, I, I've never met someone go through what I've gone through back to back. It was hard. It was really hard. It was very hard emotionally and um yeah emotionally really well financially too financially and emotionally it was hard yeah well i think that's it i'm so excited for 2019 though happy new year to everyone thank you for again <clears throat> sticking around despite all the struggles i know it doesn't look like i ate that much but trust me i, I basically ate a whole pizza i ate half of this and i had one two three four one two three i had four and four slices of those half of this and two out of the four breadsticks i mean that's like eating an entire that's at least 2,000 calories because this whole thing's over seven i'm not eating the whole thing okay <laughs> do you want me to die no it's for the display also. But then anyone upstairs can help themselves. Even though I asked and they said no. Excuse me. <clears throat> I keep mentioning it too. You know, the parents are older. They watch what they eat. They can't be eating all this sodium. You can do it when you're young because your body's more resilient and it filters it out real easy. Unless you have like a thyroid problem or there's some kind of, some issue going on. Um, where you can't filter out bad food as easily. But for the most part, children and teens and young adults, which is me. Still, thank God. Once I hit 30, I'm done. But listen, you know, it's it's a lot easier to eat bad. But when you're older, 40s, 50s, no, 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 no. It really takes a toll on you. Because you're older and your body's more... It's not that quick to heal, usually. So, what am I talking about? Healing? Like, I just did massive damage. I ate some pizza, yes. But overeating. In there we go. Just overeating. It's not a good thing, but you can do it better when you're young. Usually. Usually. Not all the time. Uh, so, 2019. Um, well, all of January and February, I'm going to relax. No collabs. They really take... They take a lot of... Uh, I know Bethany's scheduling so many back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Listen, when I do them, I need like a good couple weeks to a month just... You know, and also for my channel too. I've all, personally, I feel like if there's too many guests and too many things, it becomes overwhelming. It's nice to have like a sprinkle because people are su subscribed to you at the end of the day. Not saying that, saying that she does this, but I'm saying if she posts more than, well, we post the same amount on this channel, but my other channel, you know, <clears throat> since I only post 12 times a month, because that's all I can do, um, basically, uh... Yeah, if most of them were collabs, but it would be too much, you know? So, anyways, I'm not going to have any collaborations for a couple of months. I'm going to spend time with my family when I go down. So, we're going to hang out here in Pennsylvania for another week or so, maybe two weeks max. I really need to get out of here. Christmas is over. But, yeah, so that's the plan. 2018 was great. I have another tea video on the way, which I still have to film. So, maybe I won't. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm torn. It's a lot... I was telling, Bethany said, Nick, I would never be a drama channel. You have to collect all those receipts. You have to l learn situations from start to finish. You have to get unfiltered, unbiased um, information. Because, you know, when people be become very emotional, sometimes their facts are wrong. <clears throat> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Not saying that the drama channels do that. But if they're reporting on two people fighting. So, see, in this one, I happen to kind of be involved. But if I was just a drama channel, a TV channel, and I was reporting on two people bickering, both of their stories might have a little bit of 
usually one person's a lot more in the wrong than the other person. But even the person that did nothing wrong and they're defending themselves sometimes can still have like a little something. So that's why drama channels, like if I'm going to do it with my pinky up, I need to know what's happening where there's no like, you know what I mean, alterations of the story. You know what I mean? And drama, the T channels do a great job with it that, you know, because they have the receipts to back it up, so you can't just be like, oh, they lied. Well, if they have the receipt to show it, then sit down. <laughs> so, I'm going to do one of those videos, but it's very hard. It's hard to do all that. <clears throat> yeah, and then other than that, I would love to see my friend Sammy again. Would you like to see, I would like to do one more video with her for this channel. Um, <clears throat> my new channel, which is just doing awesome. I would love to bring her on here. And maybe something with my dad again, if he's up for it. I think we could. And, um, what else? Please comment down below and let me know what you want to see from me. Any special foods or recipes? Um, yeah. Other than that, I love you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Happy New Year. And if your 2018 was just as emotional for you as it was for me, trust me, I know what you're going through. We're going to get through 2019. I am saying 2019 is going to be great. It is going to be so much better because your, your knowledge, your perception changes everything. What you think becomes your reality. So a lot of times in 2018, I kept saying my life sucks, my life sucks, and know what? It did. This year, I'm going to say I am the best. I can do this. God is watching out for me. Everything is good. Yes. Yes. And... With that mindset, even things that could be interpreted, different, interpreted differently, I will interpret it as a positive thing, and my mental state will be better, and I'll be less stressed, less moody, moody more sleep, less depression, less anxiety. <gasps> oh, gosh. My, my 2019 is going to be great. I'm so excited for it. Yay, less meltdowns. <sighs> okay, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to the after show, little sloths. I'm back home. I never left because I'm fat ass. <laughs> I'm still here in my bedroom. Um, so, yes, I have this. I went, you know, got the cleavage going on for the clickbait. Mm, that's right. See, if I were a girl, I would, I would literally have cleavage in every video, but I'm not. So, um, yeah, hi. I'm wearing my um, blue filter glasses so they take out the blue light to protect your eyeballs from aging. And I have, this, is, this is my bedroom. That's my Christmas tree. They're my Christmas, Christmas lights, obviously. And I'm going to be eating the leftovers. I love leftovers. I don't care what anyone else says. What anyone says, leftovers is amazing. So I just took a slice of the barbecue, a slice of the creamy Alfredo, and all of the leftover. No one wanted it. I was like, hey guys, do you want to eat this? And they're like, Nick, we would like to live until 80 at least. No. <laughs> I told you, I eat a lot of junk and they don't want it. So, anyways, and that's the Alfred, the chicken Alfredo. So I just put it in the microwave. Mm, see, what if I did my videos like this? Oh, this is in the background. Mmm. Mm, that barbecue is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. So what I'm going to do... I asked some of, you, some of you guys questions on Instagram. Follow my Instagram, and I might just follow you back. See, I was like, ask me a question. Mm. Someone said, do you like me? And that comes from someone who flirted with me hardcore. Well, I flirted with him, too. When Orlin and I were on our, what was it, five-month break? I was like, do you still like me? And I said, of course I do. It's so funny because he looks identical to Orlin. Like in a good way. Like the Orlin's best features this guy has. Clearly I have a type, don't I? <laughs> and then someone said, um, who do you want to collaborate with? And I listed all of my, all the people I want to collaborate with. And I thought I would tell you guys while I eat. Karina Garcia. <gasps> mm. I want to do edible slime with her. David Dobrik. He's like the straight version of me. Chatty, happy, everything makes him laugh. Really, like, kind, very personable. You know, you know, he hasn't put on a show. I mean, well, yeah, he is. Well, I am too. But, I mean, he's just, he's just real. Now, I can't tell how the lighting is with these glasses on, so let's just go like this. 
he's just very real. I, I love David Dobrik. Who else is on that list? Um, Sniper Wolf. Ah, oh, yes. I feel like she and I will click so well. Amber Lynn Reed. Yes. I see we were going to do it, but we're going to wait until the future. Shane Dawson. Need I say anything else about him? Jenna Marbles. Uh, need I say anything else about her? See, these are all very big YouTubers. Well, not all of them, but um, uh, J Jenna Marbles, Trisha Paytas, uh, Bretman Rock. Uh. <laughs> and then I said, literally all the makeup channels. Jeffrey, James Charles, all of them. Mm. That's what I love about the beauty community. Like, not only are they very good at their makeup, but they're also very good personalities. That's how it is with the mukbangers too. Like, at the end of the day, you're not just watching them for food. I like these great eating channels. You're watching them for them. Yes, food's a big part of it. If they were just eating salad, no one's gonna watch them, I know. But, it, it just, yeah. Pulls it all together. Mmm. So I decided instead of just answering the rest of these, I would um do them on in oh here. Love those glasses. Thanks. Um here's B Bursky, eighty five. Rima one one two two one. Are you and Orland still together? Yeah. I think I'm gonna see him in like a week or two. Most likely two weeks. Mid mid January. Mm. Mm. Besides noodles, what are your favorite foods? Seafood now. I'm really into seafood. Never thought I would be, but wow. Love seafood now. Mm. Scallops, jumbo shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. You guys tell me, besides noodles, what am I known for? Besides crying. Besides crying, yeah, no, seriously. Ooh. Can't see what I'm doing. This is really up, up close in your face. <clears throat> Do you like Jeffree Star? I love him. I aspire to be like him. Someone actually said, uh, you know, with all the mukbang drama, Nick's the, the Jeffree Star of the mukbang community. And you know, that is such a compliment because he is real. He doesn't sugarcoat stuff. And he's also had like his own drama too. And so have I, so. Are we similar? I don't know. I can't do makeup. He's also not as um, voluptuous as me, but other than that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Your smile's so cute, marry me. Hi, Killax. Are you bi or gay? Asks Ultimate Molt, Molt Kim. I'm bisexual, I like both girls and boys. Did you like the chicken and waffles from KFC? I did. Is it over? Follow me, daddy, you're so sexy. Oh, thank you, Brian. Um, the KFC. Check it out. That's on my eating channel, um, Noodle King, my ASMR channel. But I like never post there. I do it just because I don't want to like not, you know, not use the channel. But it's gonna be like literally not that often, just because it doesn't pay and it's just, you know, it's not fair. You know, if I can, if I can do that here and you know get compensated for it, I'm gonna do it here. So, but I did post that if you guys want to go see it. I tried it for the first time. Did you hook up with? <laughs> everyone's asking. Well, if everyone's asking, I mean, not all rumors are true, but they usually stem from something. 
Usually. <laughs> I'm thinking, there's a big rumor about me. Well, there's a rumor about me eating my sloth. And see, then again, no, I never ate my sloth. So, I had to pet the sloth in case you didn't know. No, I didn't eat her. I just got rid of her. Mm. That was some of the most tra traumatizing things with my finger, but... Why does love make no sense? That's a good question. Um, Galaxic Vakati. Love makes no sense. Your brain could tell you you're in a very bad relationship. Your mind could tell you this person doesn't treat me like they like me. Yet your love spell lets you stay in that relationship. No, it doesn't let you makes you stay in that relationship despite all the warning signs all the red flags uh i was just talking to a friend about that the other day and her story is literally all of my girlfriends they all go through this he's so cute but he's mean to me he's so cute but he doesn't want to help with paying bills he's so cute but he hit me He's so cute, but, you know, all this kind of stuff. And it's like, love is not fair because it makes you not think. Hmm. See, that, I guess it's kind of good Orla and I have been forced to be separate. I mean, that's not good. No one wants to be forced to be separate. But it made us really sit and think what we have, you know. All gone. I'm still hungry. Why are you so negative? Am I? I'm sorry if I am. Well, I am sometimes. Um, what's the best meal you've ever had? I try to make it whatever I'm eating in the moment, and I know that's not the answer you want. Mm, what is the best meal I've ever had? Anything when I don't eat for a long time. It could be literally a chicken wrap. Plain old chicken wrap. A grilled chicken breast. Mm. I remember I used to go to the gym in Columbia with Orlin. He would go with me to spot me, help me with the weights. Well, not, yeah, like help me lift them up sometimes. Or just spot me so I don't, you know, sm smash my skull. <clears throat> it also, too, I just felt more comfortable because I didn't speak Spanish. And I didn't want to be left alone in case, you know, something could happen to me. Um, and then afterwards, we'd w we would walk to the chicken restaurant. And they would have rotisserie chickens with um, steamed potatoes and, like, this nice fruit drink. Maracuya, which is like a passion fruit, or um, what was the other one I used to get? I used to get what was it? Lulo, Lulo, Lulo. That's like a sour fruit with ice and mm, so good. And after working out, feeling so, I would literally come out of the gym like this, shaking from all my um, glycogen being released out of my muscles. You know, people shake when they're working out. <clears throat> um. It also depends what you're eating, too. See, back then I wasn't eating enough protein. Um, but still, anyways. So I would go to this chicken restaurant and I would get a big old rotisserie chicken. The whole chicken with potatoes and the, the, the wonderful cold, icy, I could put a little shaved ice on top, fruit drink. And that's just such a very like plain but very natural meal. Unaltered, unprocessed animal unaltered, unprocessed fruit. We blend it up, but you know what I mean. It's not like fried with color additives and sugar. It's just the fruit blended up. That's not that's not considered processing in my mind. And then um, the potato. It's just such a natural meal, yet I felt, ah. And th that's what I'm just saying. I'm not saying like, ooh, McDonald's is the best or noodles are the best. Any meal after starving or a workout is like the best meal on earth. Oh, those were great times. I have, I can show you a photo. Let me show you a photo. This is probably too blurred. I literally, I just edited it out. I called it. I was I was looking down with my glasses, going through my phone. You see all these photos. All these photos. And like, I just know they would have been in my reflection. Someone would have zoomed in, made a whole video. Nick has photos of butts all over his phone. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Yeah, but you don't need to see them, okay? So I'm kind of scrolling up. Making sure there's no reflection. This is so not funny. 
but it is. And we're gonna look for when I went with Orlin to the chicken restaurant. You know what? I can't find it, but I think I have one on my Instagram. Oh, is this it? I have thousands of photos. We're just gonna go to my Instagram. I have it archived. Here we go. You guys still here? Thanks for hanging out. We're at the end of the show, I know. But a lot of you guys like to spend time with me. Archive. Did you know you can do that? Let me see. Archive posts. I think I archived one of them. Oh, shoot. Go back. If I didn't, well then, we're not going to show this, this photo of me at the chicken restaurant. Do I see it? No. I guess I don't have it. No, I don't have it. Oh, but you know what I do have? Miss Kitty. Oh. Look at my precious baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Oh, Miss Kitty. She looks so funny when she gets a bath. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, that is just too much. Oh, Miss Kitty mush mush. Oh, and there's Kiwi, my sloth. Mmm. She was nice until she bit me. <laughs> oh my god, here's me in, in college. Here, let me focus on this. What is going on? Nikocado avocado. Well, I don't, I don't have this chicken restaurant photo, but oh well. Well, oh, Lady Gaga. Shh, I don't want to get copyright striked. Well, I guess, oh shh, I don't want to get copyright striked. Well, anyways, I guess that's it. Ooh. I'm back home. I should be do. I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating da da doodles. Oh. I really, I really, really. See, I had a bunch of, not friend friends, but acquaintances, business friends, there you go. When I used to work in New York City doing Broadway shows and musicals and even just like fringe festivals and very like, um, what do you call them? Cabaret shows? Yeah, cabaret, you know, just, you know, not like super, super professional, but also but anyone can sing songs on a stage, right? So they're called cabaret shows. Um... I had so many friends that had great voices. I wish I was still in contact with a lot. I, w I want to get a bunch of Broadway singers and have them sing I'm Back Home and add like um, different um, verses, make the chorus with lots of different chords. Oh, a bunch of Broadway singers. Mm. I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy because we're eating. Hmm, that would be so much fun. <laughs> I keep talking, I, I literally think about New York all the time. And yet, I know as soon as I go there, I'm not gonna like it. Because I've already been there before and I didn't. I love the hustle and the bustle though. I'm a very hard worker. People think I just sit around and eat all day. People do not, they have no idea what goes into making these videos. They have no idea. It's a hustle. It is, oh, one video, easily, six hours of my day. If it's a long video, it could be up to ten. If I'm doing vlogs and stuff, or I'm making music and transitions and lots of edits and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, every day, posting videos. Even if it's a short 20 minute video, that's still many hours. I love New York because it's such a hustle. I'm saying what I'm doing is still a hustle. I feel like I still am a freelancer. Mm, I just, I work, I love to try my best and put everything I have into something. My mom said that was a flaw today. We were talking about something. Oh yeah, I was talking about YouTube because when I hung out with Beloved's Life and Steph, St Steph, I almost called her Stephanie, I'm so sorry. There's another mukbanger, Ste Steph Pappas. And you know, we're comparing our analytics and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And um, I remember Beloved was like, oh, you work so hard. It's not fair that your channel doesn't get paid like mine, blah, blah, blah. Um, Oh, I should even bring this up. Take this part out. Nick, take this part out. Take all that part out talking about be love and everything. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, well, I don't know what to talk about. I don't technically need these on right now, sorry. Because I'm not looking at a lot of blue light. I'm just looking at, well, it's a little blue light, but 
yeah. Let's see if any, any, I got any more responses. I only put it up, let me see, how long, has, how long has this been up for? Oh, 23 minutes. Let's see how many questions I have. Well, only 2,000 people saw it, so the number of questions is probably like, you know, a couple hundred, maybe not even a hundred, I don't even know. Nick Swartzen, I get that a lot. I guess I do. Please do another noodles with water video. <laughs> noodles with water. Oh. Balik25. Hi. Emma Peck, you should do a sheets video. I already did. It's called Gas Station with My Sister. But I should, I should, I should do just. Well, I did call it. It was sheets. It was only sheets. It's, if you guys don't know, it's a regional gas station. It's in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia. I think, something like that. It's a great gra gas station, it's like a Wawa. And if you don't know what that is, well, I don't know how to help you because they're so good. They have made to order food. So you're getting your car filled with gas and you can make a, get a delicious sub. You can get um, lots of hot food. Oh, notice me. Hi, gross cliff, cliff, cliff. Nick, where are you? I'm at my parents' house. Good morning, rise and shine. I literally just woke up. I have to take a shower, look at my bed head. Yes. Hey guys, um, I want to show you that I, I don't waste my food. People always think like, oh, you're wasting your food. Oh, you're wasting your food. But I swear I'm not. And we're going to enjoy this Christmas tree until I leave, which I still don't know when I'm going. I talked to Orlin last night. I'm like, when can I leave? It's probably going to be in two weeks. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. 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 -hmm -hmm. This is my breakfast. I love pizza for breakfast. I love all different types of foods at different times of day. Have you ever have you guys ever had breakfast for dinner? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I have. And I love it. French toast. Hash browns. Mmm. At 6 p.m. Yeah. So today, oh, you can see my reflection. You don't need to see my back of my head. Um, today, I'm going to be filming my <clears throat> part three, I guess. I've made two videos already about Veronica Wang. I'm going to make a third today. And you know what? I, when I was at B Love's Life House, Bethany, I was saying to myself, I'm like, I don't want to drag this out. And she's like, oh, you should. <laughs> no, she didn't tell me to do this. No, no, no. I'm not going to be like Veronica. Well, I do what I do because no other people. No, 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 no. She was saying what everyone else has been saying. You're very good at what you're doing with the whole drama thing because you're polite about it, but you're still very edgy and sassy. And you showed the receipts. And she kept on saying stuff while I was at her house. So I was like, Bethany, look what she just said. And she's just like, you know, hmm. You know, like, I want to respond because I feel that she's making things worse. And that's what I told, that's why I told Bethany, I was like, it's one thing to do this, which is not an accident, it's really awful what she did. And then to come out a few days later and say, I'm really sorry, I regret doing this, now I've learned how serious of a matter this is. This won't ever happen again. Thank you to my subscribers who held me accountable because I hurt someone at the end of the day. I hope that we can move forward and I know I understand it will take time for you to trust me or forgive me or, you know, for people to look at me the same way. But that is the repercussion and that is the price I pay. And again, I am deeply sorry for hurting Shook Bang and bringing all of my subscribers in on this merry-go-round because I let the best get to me. I let my ego get to me, and I'm sorry for that. And I hope that you can one day forgive me. Thank you. You know, something like that. Just, just mean it, just effing mean it. And she is making things worse. By right, everything that she's saying. Every time I go to her Instagram, well, I'm blocked now, huh? But I have like 20 people Every time she sees it, leaves a nasty comment to someone. Receipts sent to me. I'm like, I'm a drama channel now. Everyone's sending me receipts. She went on Instagram Live two days ago after she made this supposed apology. Actually, I don't know the date of when she went live, but obviously it was recent because she's talking about the whole thing. And she's just still saying, why should I apologize? I did nothing wrong. You know, eh. We did nothing wrong. You literally broke the law. I mean, like, wow. And then when I was at Bethany's house, PewDiePie made the video about the whole situation and he was on my side and not hers. 
And um, she actually left a comment on the video saying, thank you for taking the time to explain things to me constructively. Wow, I'm like, He literally repeated what I said to you, Veronica. We are both nice about it. Why does PewDiePie get a thank you? And I get slandered. She went on her Instagram and to this day, like yesterday, another thing. People making views about me. Destroying the truth, changing the narrative. What narrative has been changed? What have I said that's not true? She's just so full of lies, it makes me so angry. I'm like, so PewDiePie got a thank you and I got slandered about. That shows you who's the real one after views, Veronica. <clears throat> We're gonna pander to the biggest YouTube on you biggest YouTuber on YouTube. Mmm. That barbecue one is real different, but real good. Look at all that grease. Yes. Like wow. So whatever. And I understand that Shook Bang has his channel back. He actually got his channel back two days ago. But that doesn't excuse any of the behavior. The fact that no one's even apologized yet is still very concerning to me. And I'm going to state my opinion on it, whether people like it or not. Um, I also, I do wonder what took place during these private conversations. I have my opinions. But, um... It's not pretty. It's really not pretty. For the person who got his channel shut down and bullied by two huge, three huge YouTubers with millions of subscribers, was forced to apologize for talking about them. How manipulative. What kind of power play went on? What kind of things were said? I mean, wow. And she still hasn't shown these police reports. Where are these receipts of death threats? The sole reason as to why she did this? was for death threats. She says a whole lot of stuff about a whole lot of nothing, but has yet to say, hey, here's the, the degree of seriousness of what happened. She doesn't do that at all. She never backs up her claims, because she lied. <laughs> I'm like, wow. So really, it's now it's beyond shook bang, in my opinion. Now I think we feel like it's a this is a mukbang community. We all watch each other. We have the same exact audience, literally. I just think it's so unfair for what she's doing. Because if I did that, oh my god, you know hell would be raised. And you know what? It should be. When Orla and I broke up and I cried on the, um, the floor about it, it was all dramatic, I lost thousands of subscribers. And people commented about it for months. That was my punishment, you know? I learned, okay, don't do this. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm gonna talk about today. But I wanna be well fueled, sharp in the mind. Because with Sass's video, I shouldn't have eaten while doing it. It's, it's kind of distracting, don't you think? It should only be tea. <laughs> Literally. It should only be tea. Hmm. Thank you guys for always, like, Keeping me updated, you know. I was so busy this week with my collaborations. Flying, driving hours. Then when I'm in their company, except for the thing with PewDiePie and um, at Bethany's house, I was like, hey, I just need two hours to get this out real quick. And I'm so glad she didn't get mad at me for that. And I said over and over, I'm like, please don't get mad. She's like, no, this is the job. You're on call, you know. But other than that, you know, I'm of company, I'm not looking at my phone, I'm not texting, I'm not sitting on my computer three, four hours a day, studying my analytics, seeing what's happening like I usually do. You know, because I take my job very seriously, so, you know, I was missing out on a lot. And thank you to everyone who was sending me receipts. Hmm. <laughs> so many. And, little bird, hi. 
Thank you. Mmm, thanks. <laughs> thanks too. People know that it's wrong, but they don't have a voice. You know what I mean? They would say, wow, if I had a voice in a platform where I could reach people, I would very well make videos. But these people aren't going to make a video because they don't have subscribers. Like, who's going to see it? You know what I mean? That's why this was such a power play. It's because... If I didn't have even blown the whistle, Shook Bang probably would not have gotten his show back because they still believe to this day that they did nothing wrong, so why would they change their mind? Clearly, it's not because they felt what they did was wrong. It's clearly because of the, va the backlash of the viewers. And now, it's been all manipulated. <coughs> Excuse me, so I feel good about that. You know, I feel like if I didn't make my videos, Shook Bang would not have a channel. And. Whether he got it back or not doesn't change the fact that they don't feel sorry for what they did and they're still calling me names. <laughs> and she made this apology, a response yesterday. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my, oh, it can this be for real? I guess it is. It's just one of those things where you're just like, wow, shh. You just want to close the mouth for her. You're like, no, stop. You're making it worse. Don't open your mouth unless you're going to be humble. Shh. Close your mouth. Ugh. <laughs> That's how I feel about this. Um, Ten minutes in. Okay, well, this is going to be a nice long video. So, yeah, I, I made my bed. I always make my bed. I feel like... My day is off to a better start if the bed is made. If the bed is left unmessy, my mind is messy. I want to write a book called Making Your Bed Determines Your Life. <laughs> That's a bad title, but you know, like, I'm telling you, just making that effort to make it clean and organized is like, is like eating breakfast before a test. You know what I mean? It's the best thing you can do to get yourself prepared for the day. Something little like that. Because when you come home from work or school or just whatever, and you come home to a messy house, it doesn't make you feel productive. It, it slows you down. It makes you sloppy and lazy. Not all people. I know there's a lot of probably successful people out there that don't make their bed. But I know for me, I come back to an unmade bed and I just, I feel like my mind is a reflection of the bed. Now, clearly I have issues. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here's round two. Because I'm hungry. Oh, honey eats. I'm hungry. All right. You know what I was thinking too when I was going upstairs? I'm like, another reason why, I mean, because I've been home for two days, I still wanted to give them a chance to just be like, look, I'm sorry. Because I, even though I love the whole tea time thing, look, it's been two weeks or how long has it been? Yes, since, since, the, since I made my first video, it's been over two weeks. Two weeks to make things right. Or at least make your viewers feel comfortable. And they haven't done anything. Except continue to like, basically lie. No, yeah, not tell the truth. The content was not transformative. Yes, it was. Using these big words that a lot of her young subscribers think, oh, she's using a big word. She obviously knows what she's talking about, but she doesn't at all. And she knows it. That's, that's the scary thing. Oh my God. So, see, I'm already getting fired up. <clears throat> I'm going to channel my inner Judge Judy. I love, excuse me, Judge Judy. <laughs> I love Judge Judy. I wouldn't want to be her child. Not saying that she probably, she probably had them real discipline, but at the same time as like, you're gonna fear your mom so bad sometime, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like she's very good at her job. Her profession is very, very well executed. Executed. So it's funny, you sometimes think the strictest moms, like my mom was very strict, produces the best behaved kids, but I know some of my friends who got whipped with belts, grounded for not doing their chore for like months, and it didn't make them worse or better. It's really hard. Parenting's so hard. I mean, there's so many factors. I feel, I, I'm not going to be a parent. I, no. Orly will make a great father, but I'm just too like, ah, 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 I can never, no.
Also, I don't have that desire. You know what I mean? It would be very selfish to just to have a child just to have one if I don't feel prepared to raise one. So anyways, back to the Veronica thing. I can't wait to make my video. I'm gonna shower. So that was the Alfredo one. It gets very like, even though I microwaved it, it was in the refrigerator last night. It tasted dry, whereas the barbecue one, mmm, better for leftovers. Oh yeah. These are my studio lights. I have three of these. Got them off Amazon. Like 200 bucks for three of them. They come in a carry case, they're very heavy. It might be a little overkill for what I do, but I like a lot of light. Mm. 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 Okay, the next time I'm gonna try the buffalo sauce. I'm gonna try the buffalo sauce next time. There's one other, I want to try all their sauces. You know, instead of the marinara pizza sauce, I've done Alfredo, I've done barbecue, I have to do buffalo. What else? There has to be at least one more. I hope. Mmm. Five slices later, off to a great start. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, see, when I'm hungry, I cannot focus. And I want this video to be very organized and proper. So I have a whole timeline in my head, and I have to make sense to the viewers who <clears throat> don't have time to pay attention to this. But they still want to hear it. They still want to know. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching my Pizza Hut. I'll see you on the Veronica video, probably. I don't know if this is going to come out before or after. Now you guys get a, a sense of what goes through my head when I'm planning these things, you know? Um, I gather my thoughts. I make sure I go through the receipts and just tell myself, make sure you're nice about it. You don't want to be deliberately mean, but you do want to make yourself clear. It's okay to throw shade. It's, there's nothing wrong with that, so. <laughs> Alright, bye! I'll see you in my video!